GTF Kisa was good. Another day, another video. GTF was going on. GTF was going on. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed, Jared. If you woke up this morning, you are most definitely blessed. GTF was good, man. A new day, you heard? A new day, another beautiful day at that. Uh, your boy getting a late start to it this morning. You feel me? Huh? Today was haircut day. You feel me? I had to go get the cut. You feel me? I got my cut a little later than usual. You understand me? So. That's kind of the reason I'm getting a late start as well. As you can see, the boy fresh, you understand me? Boy, when I got the fresh cut, you know what I mean? Had to go get fue. For y'all that don't know, fue is another Haitian Creole word. Fue is fresh, you feel me? Haitian Creole, Haitian Creole for fresh, you understand me? But yeah, as far as getting a late start today, uh, first thing first, I ain't gonna cap with y'all. Your boy running low on that Sprite, you understand me? So I'm already, I had pulled up to the convenience store. We about to jump out and go in this convenience store and get this Sprite, you understand me? Let go! GTF, we in here, yeah. Hey, GTF, and I ain't gonna lie, look like they missing the the box of mini cans that I usually get. You understand me? This is what they looking like they got right here. See, they missing the one that I usually get. I usually get the little box of mini cans, as you can see, it's empty down there, yeah. So you gotta buy the six, the you know, just the six pack. The box be coming with like ten or something like that. You understand me? Um, so I gotta get one of these just to hold me down for now until they. Get them boxes in stock. You know what I mean? Got the six pack yard. Five ninety nine. You understand me? Gotta have that sprite on deck. All right, fam. We got the six pack for now. It sucks that they ain't got the mini can box, but this gonna do for now. Yeah. All right, fam. We got the sprite on site. Yeah. All right, fam. We in the whip. Yeah, turn this AC on. What's hot outside, boy? Hold on, turn it. Come on, man. Turn this AC on, boy. It's hot out there, boy. It's a jungle out there, yeah. Gotta turn that do on. Ooh. Just that little bit of walking, boy. Got your boy sweat. But yo, fam, um. Uh as far as uh, today's video, um, like I said, I got, a, I kind of got a late start, so I can't really go out of, uh, out the way. You feel me? So I think I'm gonna go to, uh, cause I think they said Wendy's got some new ghost pepper items, yard. So we about to go over here, shoot the Wendy's, and see what kind of ghost pepper items they got, yard. Let go. All right, fam, we pulling up right now. Uh, yes, hello? Go ahead. You guys have the, um, some new ghost pepper items? Yes. Uh, okay, I see it. Can I just have the ghost pepper ranch um, chicken sandwich and the ghost pepper fries? Just the sandwich or you want the meal? Uh, just the sandwich and the fries. Okay, anything else? Uh, no, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right, fam. We got the grub here. Grub on site. Don't cause no fight. 
All right, fam. Time to set up Grub Tip Mobile Studios. Fam, I ain't even gonna cap with y'all. This is not grub for under half a dub. You heard? I went to Wendy's. I bought from the, the new ghost pepper items. I got the ghost pepper spicy chicken ranch sandwich. And I got ghost pepper fries. Fam, them two items alone cost me 10 for the six. You heard? That's 10 for the six. I ain't even gonna cap with y'all, you heard? So here's the fries. These are the ghost pepper fries. You know what I mean? And then we got the sandwich right here. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, sir. What we got? Have any of you guys tried um this ghost pepper ranch uh, chicken sandwich thing? Uh, let me know. Let me know if you tried it. If you tried it, did you like it? You feel me? Let me know. But anyway, fam, let's get into this food. Let's pop this thing open. All right, fam. These are ghost pepper fries. Pop this thing open. Y'all see what that thing looking like? I ain't gonna lie, this smell good. We open that, um, upon opening that container, that smell that come out, that thing smell right. Here's the sandwich right here, fam. Ooh, wee. All right, fam, that close-up action, these them ghost pepper fries. Thing is looking nice. That's the ghost pepper chicken sandwich. Hey, you looking right. What y'all say, fam? Y'all drop them comments, let me know, man. Y'all think these two items worth 10 for the six or what? Gotta pull one for the GTF. All right, fam. So we got that ghost pepper ranch chicken sandwich and them ghost pepper fries. I took a few bites for the short form video. Here goes nothing. Hit that bit. <clears throat> Found. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Oh, well, I already told y'all before. I'm not a spicy food person. I only wouldn't try this because, you know, they said ghost pepper ranch. <clears throat> Majority of the... Damn. Hold on. <clears throat> damn. Majority of the ghost pepper ranch stuff that I tried already, they ain't had nothing but a little kick to them and I was able to tolerate them. This is the spiciest ghost pepper ranch I've had. I don't know if it's all Wendy's location. Some of y'all might don't say y'all had this and it wasn't nothing to y'all. Now this specific location that I'm at in Pember Pines, Florida, this is the spiciest ghost pepper ranch item that I've had. <clears throat> These things. Yo, fam, I got back in my throat burning. My lips are burning. This is most definitely too spicy for me. I feel like my nose is about to start watering. All the spicy symptoms are hitting me right now, you know? I'm breaking out all the spicy symptoms right now. My throat, my throat burning, my lips burning, my nose. I'm starting to get the sniffles. It's crazy. These are the ghost pepper fries. I told y'all I'm not a spicy food person. When I told y'all that, I'm serious. Like I might try the other ghost pepper stuff from Popeye because you know it's, it's 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 really nothing. It's ghost pepper wings from Popeye is very tolerable. Those ghost pepper chicken nuggets I have from McDonald's, very tolerable. But this right here, this is the spiciest ghost pepper ranch uh, item that I've had so far. I also got a side of this ghost pepper ranch sauce. Take these fries. Hit that beer. Hit that beer. Mm. That sauce is good. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. I think I'm done. I'm gonna tap out. It's a bit too spicy for me. 
No cap. Told y'all I ain't no spicy food person. That's why I stay away from spicy food. Mm-mm. It's not super duper duper hot. But it's enough to make me not want to eat it no more. I would never order this item again. Not that not saying that this item is bad. I, it tastes good. Don't get me wrong. The sandwich tastes good. The fries taste good. But the sandwich is spicy. The fries, they they they're not bad. They got they got a kick to them as well. But the the fry the, the, the sandwich is spicy. It's super the sandwich got way more spice than the fries. And both of them taste good, but I will never order this sandwich no more. The sandwich tastes good. I just won't order it no more because it's too spicy for me. Everybody got time for that spicy stuff. I, I don't have time for that spicy stuff. Y'all, I ain't gonna cap with y'all. But yeah, fam, what I gotta talk to y'all about today. You have a chance to exit, or if y'all wanna hear about the show. Last night I watched the uh, season one, episode three of Rabbit Hole. That's the show I was telling y'all about with the Keith Sutherland. His name on the on the show is Jonathan Weir. And you know what I'm saying? Like I said, they don't set him up, whatever. Now he's on the run from the FBI and CIA, whatever. They all looking for him. But you know, so far he's been able to elude him, you know, avoid getting caught. So basically in this episode, you know, they did a flashback and uh, on the story with his dad, because his dad had, when he was a kid, when John was a kid, supposedly his dad had killed himself. But it, it turns out that his, his dad faked his death. They had flashback to that point. And then flash back again to another scenery where he was trying to figure out why did his dad kill himself? You know what I'm saying? You know, he was trying to figure it out for for, for years. And his mama couldn't deal with it no more. And um, they had a safe that the father had left a safe behind that they couldn't have, he could never, nobody could ever open whatever. And Jonathan was, when he was a kid, he was so determined to try to open the safe. He even made a bomb and he burnt down the house trying to open the safe and he couldn't open it. Still didn't open it, still didn't open it. Then his mama sent us, couldn't handle it anymore. His mama sent him off to, to one of them schools for, I don't know if it was a boarding school or whatever, but he met his friend Vance, Vance or Valence in there. He met his friend there and his friend turned out to be really smart. So he spoke to his friend and talked to his friend into helping him trying to crack the safe. And uh, his friend said that he would help him do it. And I don't think they ever, I don't think they showed a the part when they did crack the safe. But then fast forward to the present, you know, but well, there was another flat fast forward, not to the present, but a fast forward a couple years further. Jonathan is, is an adult now. Him and Vance or Valance, whatever the friend's name, had to start a business together. And uh, they was real successful. And supposedly they had to start the business because of what they had found in the safe whenever they did crack the safe open. But I didn't see a part where they cracked the safe open. But anyway, they had opened a business together and they were successful. And one day, Jonathan goes home and his doors is open. So he like, oh shit, somebody broke into my apartment. He had a music playing. And it turns out it's his daddy, you know, several years later, 30 years, whatever how many years later it is, his daddy sitting in his living room. And he telling him, he don't know who his dad, he didn't know that was his dad. He's like, yo, what are you doing in my house? This is your chance to get out before I call the cops, whatever. And then, you know, his dad told me, yo, I'm your dad, whatever, whatever, And he was mad, he's like, man, get, get out of my house, get out of my house, get out of my house, you know what I mean? He was pissed, and I can understand why he pissed. He ain't see his dad for th over 30 years, you feel me? And then eventually, I guess they patched it up, you know what I mean? And they spoke about it, and he was he was even saying, for years, Jonathan thought that his mom passed away, or his mom started drinking because the dad killed himself, but the dad told John that he uh, that his mama knew that he, he was faking his death. So he like, wow, but you know his mama, I think his mom had to passed away already. So he like, damn, you know, that's crazy. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, it was just crazy. So uh, you know the other girl is still is still in the picture. I forgot her name, but the girl who John, you know, who slept with John and who they trying to kill as well to steal with John, and they was all having an argument at the table and all type of stuff. You know what I mean? But um, what else happened in that episode? Pretty much that was the episode there because they they were mainly talking about the past as far as like trying to get to the story about John's dad faking his death and how he came into play now. You know what I'm saying? But so far so good, man. I like the show. They still searching for John. You know, they trying to figure out. Oh, he. Oh, they also trying to trying to. Um, John is trying to crack the code after he got the key fob thing. I think he done entered a couple passwords. But I think after five tries, it's gonna. Uh, how can I say? It's gonna uh, delete itself or something like that. So I think he still has a couple more tries left. 
I mean, but so far it's a good episode. It's a good show so far to, to me, at least. Like I said in the previous videos, the first episode started off kind of slow, and then, but in the middle of the episode it got good, and the second episode was good. Third episode, now that I'm into the show, you know, it's kind of getting good. It's getting getting better, getting better. So I can't wait to see the next episode. Like I said, Rabbit Hole, y'all check that show out if you haven't checked it. It's starring Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah. But yeah, GTF, I need to go get me some um, some water. I mean, cause that spice is getting to me. Yeah. But yeah, GTF, man, appreciate y'all tuning in. Yeah, GTF for life.